I were doing motherhood all over again, here's a few things I'd do differently. First, I would make my self-care routine every day a priority. I don't care what budget I had, I would make sure that I was physically and emotionally taking care of myself from day one. Next, I would continue to educate myself on whatever stage of development my kiddo is in. I can't tell you how many times I ended up at Barnes & Noble looking for a book because my kid was in a, had a problem situation or was in a crisis and I was anxious because I didn't know the answer. If I would have kept up with my knowledge of child development as my kids were growing, it would have made it a lot easier. Knowledge is power and when we parent from fear, it breeds disconnection. I'd be a lot more mindful of the way I was talking in front of my kids when they were little. I thought, oh, they, they don't understand any of this, it won't matter if I curse or whatever. Kids feel our energy and even if they aren't understanding the words, the younger they are, the bigger impression it makes. I'd have waited longer for the phone and screen time and I would have had more stringent rules in place. Um, in terms of the amount of time my kids could use their electronics. There's no shortage of information and research out there about how social media and phone use and all of the electronics are affecting our kids and I feel like the longer we can hold off, the better. I'd have spent less time cleaning the house and making sure we all had matching outfits for our family picture and spent instead that energy on just connecting with my kids. Because at the end of the day, having a house that's, you know, spick and span, which is the way that I wanted it, and making sure everybody looked just perfect, really doesn't matter. It's about the quality of the relationships you're building with your kids.